Hello friends, welcome to my kitchen. Today we'll be making pork chorizo. Okay, we have five pounds of ground pork. This one I ground myself is 80-20, 80 80% meat and 20% fat. Um, you do need that so that your sausage, the chorizo is not too dry. Okay, and we'll have all the ingredients will be down below in the description. I have uh, 64 grams of uh, chile guajillo, which is this one. And I weighed them just like this with the seeds and everything. And about 13 grams of the chile pasilla or chile ancho is basically just one. And you're gonna say, what are the ingredients in grams? It's a little more exact than doing 10 or 12 chiles or, you know, it's a, it's a more exact. And we want consistency when you're making the chorizo, make sure that it tastes as good and the same all the time. So that's why. Um, anyway, we have 57 grams of garlic, uh, 7 grams of oregano, 50 grams of sea salt, 3 quarter cups of white vinegar, and 3 bay leaves, 4 cloves, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay, um, that's all the ingredients, and like I said, they're going to be listed down below. Okay, now that you guys have your chiles, we are going to toast them for a little bit. Make sure to keep an eye on them because we don't want them to get burned, okay? Because they get burned and it's not good. So we just keep them right here. You can do this in a little griddle or a skillet that you have. We just kind of want the aroma to come out a little bit. They soften up a little bit and have it on low. I have it on low. And uh, and then we have a pot with some hot water. So this was already boiling. And we're going to put the chiles there for them to hydrate. Okay. As you can see, it doesn't take long for them to get toasted. It's just a little bit, just so we get the smell. Okay, turn it off. As you can see, I have an electric stove and they it's still hot right now, and these ones are, are done. So, we are going to put everything nice and soft in the pot, and we're going to let them soak for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, cover them back up, and after they soak, we're gonna clean them up, get the seeds off, and put them in the blender with the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Now that we have our uh, chiles all nice and clean, I after they were softened in the water, I took all the seeds off and I put them in the blender. And now we put the rest of our ingredients in the blender and blend away. Vinegar, garlic, oregano, salt, bay leaves, cloves, and cumin. Let's check, make sure that we have it that is nice and oh yes. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. They taste it a little bit. This is good. Okay. Let's pour this. We're going to mix it. So let's go ahead and put our gloves because I don't want to have my hands all stained. So I got some gloves. <clears throat> I've done it without gloves too, but. It's just 
better we do it without with the gloves on so we don't stain our hands let's go ahead and this we can do it a little bit at a time and next whoa yeah I'm not used to doing it with the gloves I'm just so much better with just my hands and I think that's what's gonna end up being <laughs> because I didn't want to get my hands all stained but I think uh, that's just gonna have to happen because the glove thing is not working. We need to make sure that it's all yeah. I don't want to waste the chili sauce though. So ah, let's see. Oh no, I'm getting it all over my arm. So you know what? No, my technician here is telling me my video tech a rubber band. I don't think I'm gonna do rubber band. I'm just gonna do it with my hands. So I got Chiva hands. Oh well. Okay, off they go. It's just so much easier. Now I can wipe my hand off. Okay, I wash my hands anyway. They're clean. So here we go. See, so much easier. And you just mix it. And mix and mix. Now, this, um, the chorizo, you are going to let it sit overnight. Let the flavors, allow the flavors to blend and, um, and, um, that way it'll taste. You give it some chance, uh, give it a chance to rest and get all the flavors melt in there and it should taste a lot better. Okay. Okay. Let's get the rest of it in there. And also, before uh, we put this in the refrigerator, when we're done mixing it, we are going to cook a little bit and taste it because we want to make sure that we have enough salt in there. It is a lot of pork, so we want to make sure that it's it's salted, that it tastes as good. If we think it needs something else or whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll try it and I just want to make sure I get everything out of there. I hope you guys like the chorizo. You make it, I know you say five pounds, it might sound like a lot, but when you're making something like this, if you make just one pound, it's not really worth it. To me, you have, you know, you have family, so five pounds, that way you can put them in the freezer. You don't have to cook it all at once. You put it in baggies, you put it in the freezer, and it lasts, you know, frozen like three to five months if it lasts you that long you know because chorizo is great for breakfast or even for dinner you make some tacos you can also do if you have um, the pig intestines if you get those you can get those online <clears throat> and um, or your butcher or depends on the, your butcher but <clears throat> I don't know the grocery store if you're able to talk to the butcher and they might be able to get you some uh, but otherwise you can go online and uh, the sausage maker.com I believe has them because I got them from them before and um, 
and you can put it like that and it will look just like store-bought chorizo but since I'm not going to grill it this time I'm just um, going to cook it and crumble it up so it doesn't really matter I don't need it on the to be on the top it just be but when you get if you go to those Mexican or Latin American stores where they have the chorizo where they make it there at the at the store and they just have it bulk like this so okay and we want to make sure that you mix it really good and um, after we're done mixing it it seems like it's it's getting there and after we mix it we are going to cook a little bit and taste okay okay I think this is good for now so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my hands and we'll be right back to cook a little bit and taste. Okay? Okay, we have our skillet warmed up and now we're going to cook a little bit just to make sure that I'm not putting any grease, any oil in it because I want to see how much grease comes out. I'm going to put this a little bit low, lower, because I want to see how much grease comes out. So I did 80-20 pork to fat. I don't know where you guys are able to see, but it's not letting a lot of grease. There's enough grease in there, so you really don't need to add a lot of grease when you cook it. Because it's got enough grease. Like if you're just gonna add some eggs, that'll be fine. I you won't need any more grease to add any more fat or anything. And like I said, just make sure that you let it rest overnight so that the flavors are able to develop <clears throat> and it'll be better tasting. I just want to make sure that we have the right amount of salt or if there's anything else that we want to add. I'll show you, I'll turn the pan so that you guys can see the, the amount of uh, fat that there is on the skillet. You saw I did not have any fat in there when I added the chorizo, so... See, there's not a lot of fat, and that should be enough if you want to add potatoes or... Um, eggs or whatever else you want to you wanna add to but um, okay. this is pretty much done like you see it doesn't take long to cook okay so let's turn it off Let's put some in the plate. We'll just put the whole thing in the plate. And see? Not a lot of grease left. Now, let's taste it. Mmm! We're right on. Doesn't need any more salt. Any more salt. Mm, very good. I hope you guys like it and enjoy it with your family. Okay? Um, please, if you like the recipe, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And that will make my son and myself very happy. Okay? Um, so I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.